It's the Joe Panula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. So, President Joe Biden, well, he faced intense backlash. This was after his administration bragged on social media that they had saved Americans a total of 16 cents on the cost of food for the 4th of July celebrations. So let's check it out. Let's look at the tweets, and we'll do that now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Click the like. Leave your comments. Definitely help us out by sharing this video in your timelines and groups. Okay, so here's what went down. The uh, White House tweeted, quote, planning a cookout this year? Catch up on the news. Oh, God. They spelled catch up like catch up, not catch up. According to the Farm Bureau, the cost of a 4th of July BBQ is down from last year. It's a fact you must hear. And they also have a day heard. heard. So hot dogs in the Biden economic plan is working. And that's something we can all relish. End quote. Okay. What did I just read? <laughs> I'd rather read a mean tweet from Trump. Well, here are some of the responses, okay? Let's uh, look at uh, Representative Elise uh, Stefanik, okay, out of New York. Quote, apparently, no one at the Biden White House has been to the gas station recently. Yeah. The average price for a gallon of gas is $3.15. This is the highest price for a gallon of gas since 2014 and a 42% increase from last year. Even the left is bashing the tweets. Check this out. Leftist Ed Oswald, he said this in a Twitter. Uh, quote, what in fresh hell is this? House costs are up by double digits. Used cars are literally appreciating on dealers' lots. And you're talking about a BBQ? The Trump, the Trumpness of this tweet is just gross. Might as well forget about everything else that's way more expensive. Yeah. True. Then Bad. CEO Dan Price, uh, who, by the way, cut his CEO pay by a million dollars so his workers could make at least $70,000 a year. Nice. He tweeted this, quote, 16 cents. Uh, home prices are going up 24% annually right now. The, the median home goes for up to 16 cents every 1.3 seconds right now. Newsbusters editor, okay, Curtis Hook. Well, he tweeted this, quote, lunacy and divorced from reality. One could argue this is worse than anything Trump tweeted from a policy perspective. So, good news. You could save 16 cents on the groceries for your cookouts this year. Bad news, the gas to get to the store will cost you 42% more <laughs> than last year. Right? I'm telling you. They, I, listen, they, they lied to us about the $2,000 checks, right? They, they said, hey, we got this coming up. Well, not for nothing. <sighs> you will save 16 cents on your cookout. And remember, just three years ago, when $1,000 worker bonuses during the roaring post-tax reform economy were crumbs, and not for nothing, my grocery bill is almost twice what it was last year for exactly the same items. I don't know. This is, uh, this is straight up gaslighting, by the way. So, listen, they spent $2 trillion for an American rescue plan, and all we got was this lousy 16 cents off potato chips. So, look at this a pathetic attempt to uh, fight the inflation narrative. So, since the media is covering, uh, not really covering this, but uh, American families are burdened with out-of-control inflation, with so many locked out of their house market and prices skyrocket, and the White House, well, they're celebrating uh, saving 16 cents on an Independence Day cookout. Yeah, this administration sucks at American holiday tweets. What are your thoughts on it all? Type in your comments and give us a like. And make sure to share this video and subscribe to the channel. It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.